Thank you, Haley. We've got some tasty treats in Cook's Corner today. We're joined by Jennifer Maroon Rod of Sesame King. Thanks for being here today. Thank you for having me. What are we making? It's got some, it's, cookies are always a big favorite. So oh, what kind of cookies yes. are we making? These are Sesame King tahini cookies. Mm -hmm. um, usually people associate tahini paste always with hummus. Mm -hmm. I want to show them that you can make something really delicious and easy and great for children, actually. These cookies are delicious. Our tahini paste mm -hmm. is peanut-free, tree nut-free, gluten-free. It's now non-GMO verified. It's currently the only tahini paste on the market that is pasteurized. So, wow. so all big pluses for modern consumers, basically. Definitely, definitely. What do we have for ingredients here? What, okay, what this work? we have our flour, mm -hmm. sugar, baking powder, tahini paste, and melted unsalted butter. Mm. To make this recipe gluten free, you can substitute the flour for um, uh, chickpea flour, almond flour. Mm -hmm. You can use brown sugar instead of white sugar or honey, or you just use, we have on our line actually honey tahini paste. Lots of interchangeable parts. Though, oh, so. yes. <laughs> so it's really easy. You just add the sugar. Mm -hmm. And you have your baking powder. Yeah. When you mix in the tahini paste, is there any kind of tactic you use here, I guess, when you're... I use that usually last, because yeah. you got to mix it really well. But for this recipe, get in there. Yeah. Use your hands, and it, well, you <laughs> want it to be crumbly. Okay. Um, our tahini paste is all natural, so that's what sets us apart. But mm -hmm. I'll put it in now so you can see the consistency. Yep. See how nice that is? Oh, yeah. You can find us on uh, Twitter and Instagram, Facebook. Um, all these recipes that I have, you can find them on sesamecane.com. Let me add the melted butter. When you're making, obviously, cookie ingredients are slightly different. Are there any kind of tricks to this when, when you're getting in the process in terms of what you do? Well, for this cookie recipe, yeah. it's so easy. Yeah. You can make this recipe with the children, actually. This is great for schools because... Get the hand, hands on. Yes. Yeah. And they can, you know, parents can be worry-free that these cookies they take to school are peanut-free. Right. Um, you know, so tree if a little free. one that has allergies or something like that, you don't have to worry about that. If you know these days, bringing that to school can be a big question. Oh, definitely. What I did on top of those cookies was yeah. we have a chocolate tahini paste, which is new to our line. So That's I just awesome. drizzled that on top, or you can. Should dip we take it. a look at the finished product here? Yeah, look at this. So. Obviously, if somebody's looking at these cookies, they would have no idea they're A, so healthy, and B, have tahini. In them, oh, right? definitely. Um, we're a family owned and operated business, so we stand behind our products. And we have so many additions to the line, um, especially our new hummus kit, which, if somebody wanted to make hummus, let's mm -hmm. say, under 60 seconds, they throw all that together. But these cookies are so delicious. They're healthy, they're nutritious. Um, an interesting fact about... Um, we'll have to give them a taste right now, actually. Yeah. We're out of time, but we'll have to get our hands on these. I know production is eager to get a taste <laughs> tested on this. Jennifer Maroon, Rod of Sesame King, thanks so much. We'll be right back. Yeah.